Hey, this is Mike G. I'm not in the basement anymore. I'm back after a month and a half of stress trying to find a place to live and then some health concerns that have gone away. Still fighting a bad cold, but it's better now. Uh, it's good not to live in a basement anymore. I'm closer to the bathroom. I don't have to keep a Gatorade bottle next to my bed to piss in. Uh, I have a, a draft of a new poem, and it was inspired by a new powerful poet I met on YouTube uh, named Ida. You can go to my subscriptions on my page and find her. Uh, she's wonderful. Uh, this poem needs a little work, but I'm just going to try it out here because it's been a while since I've I've uh, made a video uh, for my friends. So, so here it is. The idea of impotence at Reed College. Night is not a negligee inlaid with flames, not an inspiration, not a daily blessing to me. The teeth of her nethers never sleep. I step towards her mystery, stop, return to the daytime safety of my little word games and the rageful grief of my fellow animals. I throw peanuts to the squirrels, jays, crows, and say, no use, the rage, the echoes of bombast, the nocturnal scream kiss carnival. In the end, I didn't raise the dead. I made noise, sometimes joyful, never for God, but for the wholesome demons the birds worship, worm half swallowed, languishing in throat. Consider the squirrel. Once I saw one clacking loudly up a tree with another squirrel in her mouth. I think the other squirrel was injured. It clearly needed to be carried about 20 feet up the injured squirrel fell from the other's mouth. The other tenderly retrieved her, dropped her again, retrieved, dropped, ran off with a rageful squirrel cry. I swear, fucking God, it was a rageful squirrel cry. Done with her advanced lessons and tenderness I would bring to our bed if you were still in it. The squirrel ran off. The squirrel also knows the fierceness of rage of failing to save the one she loves. The squirrel can't raise the dead either. I accept the fertilizer go round, the gallows laughter of swollen lymph nodes, the dream haunted song turned funny to calm, to sleep. Calm down, friends, enough nuts for jays, squirrels, crows, the severed ant remnants reanimate, return to the uncertain hills, snow falls on lymph nodes, godless glory of snow. Not yet, not yet. This brain, this tongue, not done, gerbil wheel in flames, not done, burning. Because dying early smacks of cliché, I desist for now. But the demi-urge is not invited to my eschatology party. It is not my peer. Grandma said near the end I'll spread my legs only for the Lord. Her relationship with it was different. I'll never understand how Grandma loved. Trying to bribe the elephant past the mice, across the wind-battered high wire, I got two peanuts. We all got bad credit. I pray to the pagan world, but it's another lie like science and Buddhism and baby Jesus. In the end, I'm left with a soft penis and ramen noodles unenjoyed, regrets for the humans I failed to save. Tumors and boils, scabies and rabies, consumption and athlete's foot, a thousand cancers consuming, the luminosity in my soul brain constellation. Where is help to be found? Not here, says the mirror. Adrift in the interstices of tears with a cell phone and a buck oh five. We got a final two deal, right, honey? You and me against the interstices. No dice? Well, don't worry about me. I'll be cowering in the afterworld jack shack, shredding paper because the langoliers are coming. I've been reported for suspicious inactivity. Vienna sausages are like tumors, but it's lunch and I better swallow it, and I could give a shit about which village my grandfather was born in. I just witnessed a hummingbird bypass our feeder. 
to feed upon the spider webs. Poor fucks. Of course I make things up. Everyone makes things up. The universe is made up of made up things. Where is truth to be found? Not here. The carnies concern me. I worry about their cabbage-based diet, their uncanny ability to guess everyone's weight, and how they go town to town slapping up those double-turning upside-down Ferris wheels overnight. Pressed against the cage door, I pray to the bolts, be tight. Cooking my ramen noodles using the Old Testament as fuel, I'm done licking the floor for leftovers. Insanity of empire! We are not machines saved by loving grace, we are animals who failed at radical empathy. Consider the Costa Rican sloth. It reaches to pluck a leaf, yawns, falls asleep. YouTube it for the laughos. I like fucking around for the laughos, not the orgasm. All those funny noises, faces contorted like clowns. That's why I only fuck around with friends. Best chance for laughos, because we're already comfortable with each other. Fucking around should not be like church or court or a job interview. If it don't include laughos, I'm out. The sloth agrees. In the end, I didn't raise the dead. I made noise. Sometimes the cheers and laughos. Sometimes the bald spots quickly clearing the room. My joy was not for God. Night is not a lover. Neither is death. In the end, I pray to no God but the invincible I for the cessation of vibration. Now, forever. Amen.